Hey guys, this is Zaman from PowerPoint School and in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this typography animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here, I'll pick this light gray color. Now close it, go to home. Pick a rectangle, drag it over here and make it a thinner one. Now go to format, click on shape fill, change the color to black. From shape outline, select no outline. Now again pick a rectangle, holding the control shift from your keyboard, make it a square. Rotate it. Go to format, from shape fill, change this color to black. From shape outline, select no outline, bring it to here in the middle of this rectangle. Holding the control shift, drag this one to down and it will be duplicated. Select this three, press control G to group. Now press control D to duplicate, place it over the previous one. Holding the shift key from your keyboard, rotate it. Again press control D, rotate it. And here you can see that we just need to press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of this group of shapes and then holding the shift key from your keyboard rotate them. After that we will have something like this. Now select all of them. Now right click on it and select ungroup. After that we have to select only these lines by holding the Ctrl button from your keyboard and then holding the shift key drag them to the right now select only these small rectangles which are in circulated from press ctrl g to group place this group of shapes in this side then we have to pick a hollow circle holding ctrl shift drag it over here in the middle drag this yellow dot to make it a thinner one go to format from shape fill change this color to black, from shape outline select no outline. Now holding the control button select this two, from align select align center, again from align select align middle. Then again holding the control shift increase the size of this hollow circle. Now we have to select these group of shapes holding control shift, drag them to right and place over here. Now we have to make some changes. So go to edit shape and from here change the shape to this oval. Here you can see that all the small square rectangles have turned into circle. So now we have to select these lines. So by holding the control button, I'm just selecting them one by one. And after selecting them all, go to format from merge shape, select union. Now select this hollow circle, holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag them to right and place over here in the middle. Now we have to decrease the size of this hollow circle and then holding the Ctrl button, select this two, one is the hollow circle and another is the union shapes that we have made before and from merge shape, select fragment. And here you can see that we have lots of shapes. But from here, we just need these lines. So holding the control button, I'm selecting these lines one by one. This is really simple. Holding the control button, you just need to carefully select these lines. And when you are done with selecting all these lines, you have to select this group of circle also. Now press control X to cut them. Uh, I'm taking a new slide here. Press Ctrl V to paste. Place it here in the middle of our slide. Now, deselect this group of circle and press Ctrl G to group these small lines. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag them a bit so that we have something like this. Now select these two group of shapes and press Ctrl G to group.
then get back to our previous slide and from here I'll just copy this hollow circle and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Now select this two holding the Ctrl button, go to format, from align, select align center, again from align, select align middle. Now select this hollow circle again, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, press it here in the middle. Increase its size. Drag this yellow dot to make it a thinner one. And then select all of them and press Ctrl G to group. Holding Ctrl Shift, decrease the size of it. Get back to our previous slide. Select this two. Press Ctrl G to group. Then select all of these and delete them. Now from here, press Ctrl X to cut this and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Then holding the Ctrl button, select these two group of shapes. Go to Format, from Align, select Align Center. Again from Align, select Align Middle. Now again holding Ctrl Shift, decrease the size of it. Holding Ctrl button, select these two group of shapes, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate. Bring this new one to here. Holding Ctrl Shift, decrease the size. Place it here in the middle. Holding Ctrl button, select these two. From Align, select Align Center. Again from Align, select Align Middle. Now what we need to do, we have to select this circle of small square rectangles. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, bring it to here, holding Ctrl Shift, decrease the size of it, place it here in the middle, holding the Ctrl button, select this two, from Align, select Align Center, again from Align, select Align Middle. Then we have to pick a oval shape, holding Ctrl Shift, make it a smaller one, go to Format, from Shape Fill, change the color to black. From shape outline, select no outline. Here, to place it in the exact middle, select this two. From align, select align center. Again from align, select align middle. And now, we have to make a duplicate only this hollow circle. Paste it here in our new slide by pressing Ctrl V. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Pick a rectangle, drag it over here, place it in the middle of this circle, press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it over the previous one, holding the shift key rotate it, again press Ctrl D and rotate, again press Ctrl D and rotate, press Ctrl D and rotate. In this way you can see that I am just pressing Ctrl D to make a duplicate of this rectangle and then Holding the shift key from my keyboard, I'm just rotating them. This is really simple. After that, holding the control button, we have to select all these rectangles one by one. And then go to format. From merge shape, select union. Now we have to select these two. From merge shape, select subtract and we'll get something like this. Then holding Ctrl Shift, make it a bigger one. Bring it to here. Holding the Ctrl button, select this two. From align, select align center. Again from align, select align middle. Now we have to increase the size of this circle. Then drag this yellow dot to make it a thinner one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, select this two from align, select align center, again from align, select align middle. Now we have to resize this new one in this way. And now select all these three, increase the size of them, drag them to the left, press Ctrl X. To cut them from here, 
and press Ctrl V to paste it here. After that, select this small circle, make a copy of it, increase its size a bit, place it over here, press Ctrl D to make another copy, bring it to here over this line of this circle, press Ctrl D to make another copy, bring it to here, again make another copy and place it here. Then holding the control button we have to select this small circles and this hollow circle then press ctrl G to make them group. After that to add some text pick a text box drag it over here. Here I'm typing inspire selecting all the text change the font to century gothic make it bold increase the font size. Holding Ctrl Shift drag this text box to down and it will be duplicated. Here I am typing creative. Make another copy. Here I am typing design. Then holding the Ctrl button select these three text boxes and drag them to here outside of the slide. Now we have to pick a rectangle. Drag it over here. Go to format. Click on shape fill, change its color to light gray so that it matches with our background color. From shape outline select no outline. Now right click on it and send it to back. Actually this rectangle is for hiding the entrance of our text boxes. So now this time is for adding the animation. So at first select this group of shape. Then go to animation, click on animation pane to look over animation status. And to add the first animation on this group of shape. From add animation select spin. Now set start on click and duration 40 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, keep this 360 degree clockwise. From timing set until the end of the slide. Now press ok. Then to add the next animation on this second group of shape, select this one. From add animation, select spin, set start with previous, duration 40 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow, from effect option, set this counterclockwise, from timing, set until the end of the slide and press ok. After that we have to animate this third group of shape. But for this, I will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation. So first select this one where we have already added the clockwise animation. Click on animation painter to copy and paste it here on this third group of shape. For this set start with previous and then for the fourth group of shape, I will use this one. Click on animation painter to copy this counterclockwise animation and paste it here on this fourth element. And then to animate this circle of a small square rectangle, I will use this group of shape where we have already added the clockwise animation. So click on animation painter to copy and paste it here. So now we have to animate these three bigger circles. At first select the first circle. For this I will use the counterclockwise animation. Here select this group of shape. From here click on animation painter to copy and paste it here. Now select the second circle. For this I will copy a clockwise animation, click on animation painter to copy and paste the animation on the second circle. For the last one I will use the counterclockwise animation. So let's copy and paste it here. After that we have to animate the text boxes. So select the first text box from add animation from motion paths select lines. From effect option select left. Now drag this red dot to the left and place it here. Then set start with previous, duration 1 second and delay 1 second. Now click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth end to 1 second, select auto reverse and press ok. 
Now to animate the other text boxes, I will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation. So first select this text box where we have already added the animation. Click on animation painter to copy and paste the animation on this second one. But for this, we have to increase the delay to 3 seconds. Then holding the shift key, drag this text box over the first one. Here you need to do the same, just copy the animation of our previous text box and paste it on the third text box. Then you need to increase the delay 5 seconds for this one and holding the shift key drag it to upward. Now select these 3 text boxes, right click on it and send it to back. And our animation is ready. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I have given the download link in the video description. In our next tutorial, I will show you how to make this motion graphics rocket launch animation in just powerpoint. And our today's tutorial is one of the longest tutorial of powerpoint school and it has taken more than 3 days to be ready to upload. So after doing so much hard work, a single piece of your appreciation will inspire us a lot. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, give a like for this video and share with your friends. Hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.